In this demo I will give you some additional tips and tricks on ground drivers. First of all, the driver injection is actually happening during the WinP phase of things. When Windows is doing that, it actually extracts the driver into a scratch space in RAM. And some drivers, like NVIDIA, they are actually bigger than the RAM disk is and the scratch space is. So what we need to do is go to the production deployment chair, go to the WinP settings and make sure the scratch space size is set to at least 128. And the same goes for the WinP 64-bit one. Then sometimes we need to have applications as drivers or drivers as applications. So we may need to have hardware applications in here, like the Vodafone application for uh, Dell machines. And if I want to assign this on only Dell models, for example, I can go to my sequence, go to the install application step, and I have actually added another install application step which is installing just that application selected from here and now if I wanted to I can actually set a condition for this one to only deploy this if a certain device is detected or I can do a query for the model like this making sure I'm only deploying this application if the machine is a specific model Another tips I can give you is that you remember the different scenarios that we had. The uh, total chaos and total control and the predictability ones. You can actually combine them. So if you want to in the driver structure you can have a model like this with HP and then you can have generic drivers that you will add to all the machines. So in the sequence you can actually add additional driver paths. So I will copy this one and I can add driver group and say go ahead and just add generic. So now we'll be adding first the model drivers only and then I'm also adding in the generic drivers. It could be like a keyboard driver, smart card reader, whatever that I have on all my machines.